Right, we're gonna be making a four to one balance today, but, hello ladies and gentlemen. This is Mike's channel, my name's Callum. Mike is visiting today. I have just watched your video on this, what do you call it? It's a variable, a variable capacitor. Right, yeah. This is a sleeve. Yeah. So this is the whole size of it. Now take it out for me. Yeah. So this go. is <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay. As you can see, I'll hold it. Thank you very much. There we go. Oh wow. So now, from the top, you 3D printed these. Yeah. The top and bottom. Why did you put tape around them? Right. So I made the um, the the. Well, what do you call them, the sleeves, the dishes, if you like, the bit that hold the capacitor in place, slightly smaller than the diameter of the sleeve. Okay, so the tape um, is to pad it out. Yeah, basically, so I put the tape around the outside just to bring the, the circumference or yeah. the diameter of the uh, of the plates out to make it a nice snug fit okay. for, the, for, the, for the tube. Now, you showed us um, you actually constructed all these plates mm -hmm. and you also demonstrated that we can't move because we've got 12 volts in there there's a little bit of give but all these plates move around and in terms of pico farads you've got i seem to remember between about 75 and 550 yeah that's correct on a three revolutions a minute motor that is correct yeah okay and i love the way what you've done is i'll hold it carefully you've basically used hot glue and tubing to connect the motor to these now why and how is the bearing it's this moves so easily is there a bearing in there? Yeah, what somewhere? I've done at the the top and the bottom of the uh, the, the centre uh, rotator is I've put a very small um, washer, which is slightly bent. I made it slightly domed okay. shape, uh, and then that creates the pivot point for the. So it's like a center. homemade bearing. Yeah. Um, okay. There's no actual ball bearings yeah. involved. So. And then what is really cool is that you cut a piece of now so is this plumber's tubing or something it's uh 20 mil conduit conduit right and that this is for your 12 volts which yes. will come through here and obviously but at the moment they don't go anywhere no at the moment it's just it's just a short length at the moment but, uh -huh. but the idea is that you'd put your, your cable down through it um yeah. so that when it's inside the pipe it's not coming out the top you can put a, a water type seal on the very very top yeah so um, you've you've printed these but they're not is that for the next video yeah all, all the finishing touches. Yeah. Uh, the idea is that the cable goes down through here, and because it's inside the tube, it won't snag on the on, capacitor plates. On the capacitor plates yeah. as they go around. The hot glue at the top because these are effectively hot. Well, they're live, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, even though it's encapsulated. Not so that you should be touching it whilst they're transmitting no, no, anyway. No, indeed. Okay. So everything is three D printed. What software do you use to design? your 2D things. That's on FreeCAD, which is a free download for Windows okay. and also Mac, oh, so okay. uh, cross-platform. Oh, so there we are. Now, you've got all this variable stuff going on. What is your magnetic loop gonna be? Is it gonna be this figure of eight? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. Okay. Now, uh, out of out of um, either Hardline, which is uh, a nice... Yeah, okay. Um, or if, if I can get it, which is what I really want, is two um, two inch or fifty millimeter copper tube, pre bent right. into nice big. So um, you need an engineering company. Yeah, that's what I need. Right, so we need an engineering company near Gloucester that can bend really nice curves in two inch, two inch copper aluminium. or aluminium. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, fine. All right, well, wish you well with that project. Thank you very much, Mike. Now on to the four to one balance. Thanks, Carl. May the force be with you. And here's the next video coming up. <laughs> nutter. It is. It's an absolute nutter. <laughs>